What's up? Welcome back to another aim lab video. Training your aim has never been better. And in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 top tips when you're playing with aim lab. I'm actually going to start off with a bit of a bonus tip here. The Creator Studio is now live and inside of AimLab. The Creator Studio lets you build custom maps and tasks, allowing for unlimited scenarios. You can play maps and tasks people have built inside of the scenario section inside of the workshop. All right, tip number one. The countdown at the beginning of training tasks isn't for everybody. The seconds can add up over time when sometimes you're eager just to get to it. Well, lucky for you, tip number one is that you can actually change the amount of time that is on the countdown all the way to zero so you can literally begin straight away after clicking. This is a great quality of life feature and a great time saver. Which takes us straight into tip number two on time saving which is pressing F6 will then restart your training task if you're not happy with the run. This combined with tip number one is going to give you so much extra time to train your aim. During training you might find the weapon actually quite distracting when you're trying to practice. You can actually hide the weapon in the settings. Go to setting, game, and then find weapon visibility and put it on to hide. And then boom, as if by magic, the weapon is gone. I'm going to throw in a bonus piece of information here as well. If you find the heads up display, the HUD at the very top distracting, you can also hide this at the top of the settings on game. Moving on to tip number four. Did you know that AimLamp has a sensitivity calculator built right into it? Under controls, you can choose the game that you like to play, put your sensitivity in, and as soon as you've done that, if you swap to any other game, that sensitivity will then be converted onto that new game. This is a neat feature that we have built into AimLab to make it easy if you change games. There are over 500 game profiles to select from. Moving on to tip number 5. Custom tasks is a great way for you to improve on specific feedback you may get from AimLab. After you complete a task, AimLab will then give you some data of what you did well and what you need to improve. Custom tasks let you change different variables, allowing you to customize your training to help you focus more on fixing any errors you have. For example, if you have a left side weakness, you can turn off any targets appearing on the right side and just focus on training the left. Here you can change the challenge length, the target speeds, sizes, and a bunch of other things. Click custom at the top of the main menu, then click on tasks to get started. Moving on to tip number six, if you're not already familiar with the workshop inside of AimLab, you should definitely take a look. The workshop has a bunch of user generated content, some of which are targeted towards specific games. From here, you can find custom tasks, playlists, weapons, and even weapon recall. You can get to the workshop directly from the main menu, or you can click on custom workshop. Tip number seven is that you can change one of the training arenas called the gray box. From here, you can change colors, textures, the tiling size, and a bunch of other different cool stuff. Complement your custom gray box with the custom target color, and you're going to be training in style. To get started, click on custom at the top of the main menu, then click on gray box. Once you've got your arena just right, click save and make sure to select gray box when you choose any of your tasks. Tip number eight is that you can actually change the sound of the targets when you hit them. There's a few preset sounds that you can select from, or you can import and have your own. Click on import, find your custom WAV, and then make sure to click save. Nice, 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 nice. Tip number nine is that you can customize the crosshair to your preference. This includes changing the color, the opacity, the length of it, the thickness, if you're having a dot, if you're having a circle, and you can even now put an outline around the crosshair. If you're feeling too cool for any of these options though, you still have the option to upload your own custom crosshair. And finally, tip number 10 would be to join our community over on Discord and social media. The Discord is a great place to keep up to date with any new updates for AimLab if you need any support or have any questions, and you can join over 50,000 other members to discuss aiming, routines, and different playlists to become better together. Links to the platforms will be in the description. So that wraps up 10 top tips for AimLab. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more AimLab content, throw a thumbs up, and if you've used any of these tips, let us know in the comments. Until next time, happy training. Nice.